Hello, good day and welcome back. So this video is sort of in my yearly announcement. Usually I do it at the end of the year, but this time it's coming at the beginning of the year. But it's going to make sense because we're going to do a little retrospective, but more on that in a minute. Essentially, I'm going to post this video across all my channels and it's going to be the plan and outlook for 2022. This video will be posted on all my playlists that I currently have active. And so if you follow more to my playlists, then you'll see the same videos, but it's going to make sense what's going on. All right. But before um, I get too much into the plans for 2022 and why you should still be excited, let's rewind things a little bit and see how we got here. Now, for some of you who've been with me for a very long time, this is going to be a little bit of a refresher and maybe um, some things that you didn't realize all this time. And for those who are new and, or recent, well, thanks for being here. And maybe this is going to help show you how we highlight how we got to where we are. So let's go back a little bit to the end of 2018. And then at the end of 2018, I posted this uh, video with this slide essentially saying, you know, 50, 500 subscribers, not 50,000, I wish, but 500 subscribe. And I was very happy and I'm still very happy um, the number of subscribers we have, which I'm going to show at the end, towards the end of this video. But at the close of, you know, December 26th, the day after Christmas, um, on 2018, midnight Eastern time, we had 500 subscribers. It wasn't quite the end of the year, but I imagine by the time we, um, we got to the end of 2018, we probably picked up a few more and was able to end that year with more than 500 subscribers. Also, I was going to be launching my Go Lang for Tourists course on Udemy, and I had a contest uh, essentially saying that, oh, if you'd like to be able to be considered for some free um, a coupons to the course, course, I will pick, I think it was five winners or something like that, and those were going to be announced on the 27th um, of December. So that was the thing that was happening towards the end of 2018. Now keep in mind, this channel did not start in 2018. I don't remember actually. <laughs> I have to go back and check and see what my absolutely first video was. So that's all good. And we start 2019 with the Google Land for Taurus being on Udemy. And then a few months later, I take the same material for the Udemy course and I post it all on YouTube. So now it's on YouTube. And so if anybody cannot afford to take Google Land for Taurus on Udemy, you can find the exact same material and it's available on YouTube for you to take. If we look back at what happened in 2019, I actually did quite a bit. Um, Lawn and Flutter was one of the new playlists that occurred in 2019. I also did embedded programming that's we're using Go and working that robot platform sort of thing. I also launched another um, playlist called Just Stuff where I just sort of put ad hoc thing in there that I might be working on that doesn't really quite make sense as a, you know, coherent set of exercise. It could be anything. It doesn't have to be goal related. And then, of course, taking the Udemy course and um, adding that as a playlist on YouTube. I also started um, a Patreon. Um, I have had one Patreon subscriber since 2019, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm doing this stuff because I love it. The Patreon thing. Um, it's just for those people who could afford to do it. Um, there's no requirement to do it whatsoever. That's the, the, was the case for 2019. And of course, we still keep growing. Now, come to the end of 2019, and I posted a video with this slides mentioned that at the end of 2019, we had, you know, 1,400 um, subscribers. So we went from like 500 subscribers at the end of 2018, and in that year, we are tucked on almost a thousand subscribers. And this was actually at the end of um, 2019. This is what we had, you know, 1400 subscribers. And I also say goodbye 2019. And of course, uh, at that time, when I said goodbye to 2019, we're now starting hearing news about COVID and so on. And who knew that 2020 was going to be such a crazy year. So the beginning of 2020, I mentioned that uh, I'll be changing a few things, but you should be excited. Again, these are slides from back in those days when I made those announcements. And to review, these are the play playlists that I had planned. So they're still going to be going around, and that's going to really be just ad hoc programming examples and topics. 
And you can see it's actually more than ad hoc, but um, over time it sort of evolved sort of to be something kind of coherent that we'll see later. And then of course there was embedded programming, which was started in 2019. And you know, that's still doing stuff with experiments with Go at the embedded level and so on. And I intend to continue doing that, more details on that later. And of course, started doing Flutter and um, then just stuff, which I say is just a random collection of video based on my interest, what other might be doing. It doesn't have to be programming related, it might be some house project, like um, I'm into home automation. So I've done some of that, but I haven't recorded it, but maybe in the future, I'll record and post some video as the intent there. And then of course, I launched Go Language for Taurus, like I could say in 2019. And so that was available for everyone. And then the plan was in 2020 to start doing a new series on machine learning and the fundamentals of AI. And um, I was really excited with that and thought I would have time to do that. Of course, 2020 turned out to be a crazy year with a pandemic. Um, I was living in a place where I didn't have enough time, yada, yada, yada. A whole bunch of things happened in 2020, but um, besides just the pandemic. Um, but sort of like the plan was to continue an update, go on the run, and then um, given the state of things at the beginning of 2020, when I knew that we had solar home and we were living in this apartment, I, didn't, I had all my embedded stuff packed up, I couldn't possibly work on the embedded programming stuff. A lot of that stuff was just packed away, didn't have the space. But I intended to continue working on learning Flutter and then of course post things and just stuff. And then I thought by the second to third quarter, you know, getting toward past summer into the fall of, um, or the third part of um, 2020, I would start doing um, the machine learning thing. Of course, that did not happen. And so 2021, is like, I don't know what happened in 2021, but I still kept posting videos, still trying to make it through the pandemic and moving and all this other stuff. And of course, still being in an apartment for most of that time. But whatever 2021 was, I don't think I really posted a plan or even a review. But here we are at 2022, the beginning of 2022. And so I want to lay out the plan for 2022. And I want to tell you why you should still be excited. So just like I said in 2020, 2020 or 2019, that you should be excited. Um, I still believe that you should still be excited. And so the playlist that we're going to or plan to still have is going to be the same going to run um, and with programming exercises that you see there. And I'm going to show you a little bit um, detail of what go on run has evolved to that playlist and the kind of stuff that we have done there and I have planned to do there. Um, in better programming, I still want to do in better programming with Go. I still think there's a niche there that I'll, um, can be exploited with in better programming, whether it's for robotics or home automation or whatever. I still want to do that. Um, still want to do some Flutter stuff. I don't think I'll ever be a Flutter expert. I'm not a UI guy really. Um, so I'm never going to be able to really teach you how to write like great applications. So it's always going to be getting at the core of what this thing is and how you can use it. I think even when you write in Go or backend or whatever and whatever, you can still have front end application. And what I like about Flutter is that you can write mobile app, desktop app, and, um, you know, web application. So with this one code, um, framework, you can sort of target multiple places and that's good. And knowing the fundamental that I think is, is good too. Um, I'll still have just stuff and like I say, I'll plan to post more video days with little projects that I do around the house and so on, but we'll see. That's going to be random and there's not going to be any plan on how often to update. That's going to depend on what I'm working on. So for example, like I mentioned, I like doing home automation. One of the things that I'll be working on soon is to automate my garage so I can close it, open it, or I could know if I left it open. So I might record a video or I should record a video. I, let me just say, I might record a video of me doing that so I can post out to do that stuff. I've already automated some of my switches using Shelly devices. I did not record any of that stuff. So those are the kind of thing that would probably go into this just stuff, just random things that I'm doing. Um, go language for Taurus. That playlist is still there. It's not going away. I cross this out to mean that oh, we've done this. Um, it's already there. Um, the machine learning stuff, I'm going to postpone this because... Um, I have to look at the amount of time that I have and it's just me alone. I record the videos, I plan them, I have to do the editing, I post it, all that stuff. I do not have any help. 
and so trying to take on something like this um, at this time it means that something else is going to suffer so i think it makes sense for me to just postpone this as much as i would love to do it it makes sense for me to postpone this and so that's the state of what the playlist is going to look like it's going to be the four things go on the run the embedded programming learning flutter and just stuff um the go land for tours is still there that doesn't need any updating at this point um i think there's going to be a time when um there's some material in there needs updating but i think i'll just add that to go on the run so for example go generics um is something that i'll probably add to go on the run so if we take a look at what the four playlists we're going to have that's going to get any updates in the future it's going to be going to run and the new there's new material plan there a lot of new material i'll show you in a bit um the embedded stuff i plan to resume that around summer i'm not get, probably not going to be able to get to it before um summer and learning flutter i plan to also restart that i think what's going to make sense for flutter is just for me to just sort of restart that like just start over with like yo, the installation of Flutter and how you write a Flutter program and maybe there's just some new things in Flutter that I want to pick up because there's been a lot of changes there so it makes sense to me to just restart that and probably going to get around to that hopefully by summer or just after summer and then just stuff there's no plan it's just going to be me updating it whenever I I do projects or anything that I think oh you know it'd be nice for other people to see I just want to give you an idea um, on one of the playlists how much it has changed and some of the work that we have planned there. So if I do um, take a look at or go on the run playlist, for example, you'll see, even though I say it's a hard arc um, type of playlist, that was the intent that I just sort of come in, show you how to do certain things, um, but sort of no overall plan, but just useful things. As you can see, it sort of evolved from showing you how to do things like JSON and Go, XML, comma separated value, um, encoding and decoding, basically the HTTP, and um, then building a simple web application using service sent events, things like that. Um, Go template, WebSocket, you know, and talking to databases and so on. And then it just sort of started evolving and became more and more, I say, coherent, right? show you profiling, reflection, anonymous functions, and so on. And we even cover things like gRPC, security, went in details with security, and then using Docker. And the next thing was to move into learning about Kubernetes and see how we can use um, containers um, there, Docker containers. But I decided to put Kubernetes on all, or at least put a pause on continuing um, through these set of videos because I figured that once I start working on Kubernetes, I want to be able to post more consistently. And since last year was such a challenging year, 2020 was such a challenging year, 2021 was such a crazy year, um, I did not want to start that. So instead, what I did was I started doing miscellaneous videos. And so in miscellaneous videos, I posted things about NAT, um, the message, you know, um, publishing um, application, rate limiting, and so on, and even talk about the builder pattern and how you do configuration. And then we spend quite a bit of time talking about program structure. And that's like sort of the last thing or video I posted. Um, but there are other things I like to post here too. I don't know when, but I like to do a set of videos on writing a simple block string from scratch and go. I'm not terribly fancy, you're not going to be able to go out there and launch your own blockchain, but I find it really interesting how the, the basics of what a blockchain is, um, is quite, quite understandable. So definitely, as you know, my style is to get just the basics of it so you can sort of understand intuitively what's going on and then you can build from that. So that's going to be something I'll, um, I'll add to miscellaneous. I don't know if I'll do that in the next week or not. Um, if you had asked me this two weeks ago, I should have been posting videos on this. My intention was to be posting videos on this now, but that didn't happen, so I don't know. But in terms, if you look back at our general outline here, I'd certainly like to get back to, you know, wrapping up things with Kubernetes. Let's get started on that and then talk about microservices and um, security, like using JWT API gateways. And some of these might change. I might move things around maybe 
I might move clean architecture up a little bit, who knows, but there's a lot to cover with clean architecture. And again, I'm not an expert, but it's going to be really good now that we know program structures and how to use certain things in Go modules when we do talk about clean architecture and some recommendations that come out of that, how we can use the things we learn from program structure to help us implement a clean architecture. And then I'm really excited about this one. I'd really like to spend some time and go for my own benefit, and I think it's going to be a good exercise, is to go back through design patterns um, from the Gang of Four book generally and see how many of them and how they can be implemented in Go. Now, I have the Gang of Four books. I've read it from cover to cover years and years ago. I don't remember all the design patterns there. I don't think all the object oriented patterns from the Java world and OO world necessarily make sense in Go. But there's certainly a Go design pattern website, and they do cover some of these patterns, some of those patterns, and um, how you can adapt them in Go. So I think I'd like to do some videos, even if it's going to that Go design design pattern website, and just implementing all the design patterns that they have. So that's going to be a huge undertaking, and I don't think that's going to happen in 2022, honestly. I mean, even if I go through this plan as is it as it is. Um, this is probably going to be in 2023, 2024. So we have a lot of material to cover. And so that's just with me even being able to post um, often enough. I'm talking about every week or every two week, right? We we'll still have a lot of material to go through. But I'm excited about this. And of course, like I said, things can be moved around, maybe based on demand or whatever. We can move things around. So that's an idea, just all the stuff that's just in go on the run alone that I have planned much as you know like the embedded stuff and flutter and so and plus um, like just stuff right playlist so as I, you can see why i said that you should still be um excited so here we are we've gone through some history which at the end here or of 2021 i think we had about 3200 plus subscribers and the reason i say that is today is um january 11th and we have 3,300 plus subscribers. So I'm saying that all, I'm sure that all we had over 3,200 subscribers um, by the end of 2021. So that's awesome. And thank you so much for getting me to that number. And hopefully um, we continue to add more people and the channel continues to grow. So now that I went through all of that, um, let me just wrap it up here. And so I want to say thank you for the support. Thank you for being a subscriber, whether you've been around from those early days and was part of that early 500 or whatever, the first one, the second one, it doesn't matter. You're a subscriber today, you're a viewer today, and I want to thank you. Um, if you've been around that long though, I want to say a special thanks for your support and your patience as um, you stuck around with me. And so that's awesome. So I'll cut it here without being too corny, hopefully. And see you in the next video. Here is to 2022.